Hello and welcome to Natty's Crafts. I'm Natalie and I always do all the crafting. And today I've got two really quick crafts. Uh, one that's probably going to take you two minutes and the other maybe give it 10-15 minutes to be complete. So these are our fun quick crafts and I do have to give Whitney from Whiskey and Wit credit on the first one so you'll see that. And then if you would please go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and when you subscribe hit the bell so you'll know when my next video comes out and then always leave a comment just say whether you like it you didn't like it you want something new you want something different or you've tried it that's it thank you so much let's go take a look so this first one is from whiskey and wig it's a dupe of hers that she did i'm using this princess pot that i got from home goods my husband used to call me Princess Bride, so right there I was just crying because it just brought him back to me. And so I'm using this just, I bought it just because I loved it, and now I'm actually going to use it. So it's going to be um, a good thing. So we're going to take these popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree, and all we're going to do is write, for me, I'm writing tasks. The cleaning tasks that I don't ever want to do but need to do, I'm going to write them on these little sticks put them in the pot and then once a week or twice a week I'm going to pull a few out and make sure that these tasks get done. Uh, whiskey or I'm sorry Whitney also made it like activities that her and her kids could do. I don't have kids or anything so I'm just doing tasks but you could do stuff like that too that's a little bit more fun. So I'm just writing these out and if you use a sharpie that actually works it it works better and you can read what they say it's amazing. It's amazing how life works. Um, so I did get a new Sharpie there and write them down. So I'm just putting, you know, vacuuming, mopping, washing the dishes, washing the dog, organizing the craft room. You know, stuff that you don't want to do every day. And then you just go in the little pot, you take one out, and that's the task you're going to do. And I'll probably do two at a time uh, because they're only, they're short tasks, 10, 20 minutes, something like that. And this is my pot that I absolutely love because it reminds me of my husband. And again, this idea came directly from Whiskey and Wit. I will put a link down below with her video. Now, the next one, we're making some coasters. Last week, we made placemats, and so now we need some coasters to go along with these placemats. So that's what we're going to do here. And so I'm just going to cut out some words. Um, I, I made three different coasters, and so this one here is going to say, don't spill that. And so that's what I'm cutting here. And when I first did this, for some reason, I was thinking I was going to use iron-on, so I reversed the pattern, which you'll see here in a second when I start to weed it. No need to reverse this pattern because we are not ironing this onto a cork uh, coaster. It's not going to happen. So we're just using regular vinyl. And it took me a minute. It took me an, almost until I weeded the whole thing to figure this part out. But, you know, eventually I got it together. And so the process is the same no matter what, whether you reverse the need to reverse the pattern or not. If you were to use the Dollar Tree coasters that are uh, the, uh, what do you call it, ceramic, this would probably, you would paint those coasters and it would probably look good. But I went to Daiso for the first time ever and I found these little cork coasters. You know, they look a little more natural. Everything in my house is very industrial, so I thought giving it a little natural look might be better. So that's why I'm using these cork coasters. And clearly you want to watch me weed out the whole deal. Okay, so now here I've corrected, I've corrected it and made it go the correct direction. And so we're just going to lay that transfer tape down on top of those words that I'm going to put on that cork board. And then we're going to go ahead and measure out where it needs to go. Now, I did not measure properly. I, I was looking at the two, and it's not a four-inch coaster. So I screwed it up even with the, with the measuring. But, you know, put it how you want it. You, I could have put it all the way to the left. It wouldn't have mattered. I could have put it all the way to the right. It wouldn't have mattered. No one's going to care about me 
because I'm the only one that's ever going to see it most likely. But anyway, so I'm going to put it down. I'm going to go ahead and what is it called? Burnish? Burnish? I don't know what it is. I'm going to do that and make these letters stay down. Now, I lost my T there and not sure why because all the other letters worked out just fine. But that T did not want to let go of that transfer tape. It thought that that transfer tape was its buddy. So I'm going to have to fix that. And so I'm just kind of pushing it down a little bit better, a little bit harder. And then it's on there well. Now, because this is vinyl on cork, I was very afraid that these letters were going to come off. And so I'm putting dishwasher safe Mod Podge on top of the words. And the cork, of course, is sucking that Mod Podge up very quickly, but I think it'll do the trick. So far, so good. It's been a couple days and the letters are all still on. So, so far, so good. So those are the placemats we made last week. And then here are my coasters. And they're just sitting on top of some Ray Dunn coasters that I had previously. I did end up taking the white ones, the Ray Dunn ones out because they were slippery. And so now it's just the cork sitting on the table. But I thought they were cute. So that one says, don't uh, spill that. The other one says, for the love of God, use the coaster. <laughs> Which again, in my house, we're funny. We, you know, it's, it's all fun and games around here. So that's why I'm doing that. I thank you so much for stopping by Natty's Crafts today. And I sure hope that you'd be able to leave the video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and then also hit the subscribe button. And whenever you hit the subscribe button, you should hit the bell so that you know when the next video comes out. I thank you again for stopping by today. Please do remember to appreciate today as tomorrow is never promised. Y'all have a great one.